Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm very excited because I am starting another project pan. <laughs> I know I said in my deck of panning that that was probably the only project pan I was going to do this year, but I've been watching a lot of YouTube, well, as I normally am, but lately a lot of um, Pando's eyeshadows videos have been popping up in my recommendations. And I did already know about this project because of Emily and Max, the same person that created the deck of panning project. I've seen her videos. I've also seen It's Just Steph do these videos. But this project was created by, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Alexandra Shostin. I'll link everything below as usual. Basically, so it's called Pando's Eyeshadows. <laughs> I always have trouble explaining things, I feel, because I'm just too excited. So yeah, the premise is that you choose five shades randomly from your entire collection based on num like random numbers. So use the random number generator. Um, I personally don't have all my makeup products listed like numbers. I have the Tiny Decisions app, which you would have seen if you watched my Shot My Stash videos or my deck of panning. Um, that I use, it's like a wheel that you spin. So I have all my palettes on there. So I figured what I would do is use the wheel to choose the palette and then a number generator to choose the number and then I'll just count like which shade that is because I don't have my shades like in an excel sheet there's just too many there's too much eyeshadow in my collection to do that so that's how I'm going to do it I'm very excited this is my intro obviously so I'm going to pick five shades randomly and Let's just get started. I don't think I have anything else to say. I guess I'll figure it out as I go, like I do with all my videos. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull up the Tiny Decisions app and go into my palette or eyeshadow single category. So I might it might happen that I choose a single eyeshadow and that's going to be the shade, obviously. But if I choose a palette, I'll roll, I'll roll the number. Does that make sense? So let's just get on with it. So this is what my wheel looks like. You can't even read it because there's so many. I think I did just update this with my newest things. So it should be as up to date as it can be. So let's just... Start. I'm scared. Oh, the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette. Okay. So I guess what I'll do is I'll keep rolling and then I'll get the palettes and then I'll roll the number because if not, I'll have to like get up and down and everywhere. <laughs> so, but I think I'll have to write this down because. I have a terrible memory. That is a big palette though, so I'm kind of scared because I'm gonna have to get all these palettes and organize them somewhere where I'm gonna have them to actually reach for. So hopefully they're not all big palettes. So that was one. Next is... The Makeup Forever Artist Shallow Pat Artist Shadow Palette 3. I've never used that palette before. This is very exciting already. So that's number two. Number three. Oh, I don't have that anymore. <laughs> Do I? No, I decluttered that. So this says cover effects drops. It was actually glitter drops like in a dropper form um i put that in my eyeshadow category because i was like the only way i'm going to use this is on the eyes but then i just never ever felt like reaching for it so i just 
gave it to my friend. So I'm going to have to uh, roll again and remember to take that out for next time. Violet Boss Essentials, another palette that I don't think I've ever used. This is fun. I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised. I haven't used like more than half of my eyeshadows, which is why I'm doing this project to begin with. I might feel differently when I get the colors. <laughs> we'll have to see. Um, this is number four. Boxy Charm and Pure. Okay, that's a like Boxy Charm exclusive palette that they did with Pure. Another one, I'm not sure if I've used that one. And that's gonna mean I'm gonna have another Pure palette in my Project Pan projects. This is number five. So the last one. Oh my god. Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basquiat. I used that like once or twice when I first got it. Um, yeah. I don't really remember anything about it though. I remember the color story on the packaging because that's why I bought it because it looks like a like an actual painting. So this should be interesting. So I'm going to pull out those palettes and I didn't get any singles so that's that means I have to roll for every palette a number so I'm going to pull them out and then come back to do the random numbers and I think if if I happen to get like a similar shade I'll just roll again because I want to have five different shades you know what I mean if it's like two browns it's not gonna work so let me let me do that and I'll be back so this is my Nikki tutorials beauty bay collab did this have a name mm, I don't know I don't think so so this could be very interesting because it looks like this so there is five there's 20 shades in this palette. So I'm using the Pretty Random app and I'm going to put the maximum number to 20. And then you just shake it, right? Yeah, 19, oh my God. Oh god, that's probably the one I would have least wanted to pan. This is the shade Amsterdam. I'll just close this side because it's easier to hold. Amsterdam. Blue. Like a primary blue. That's starting off great. So let me swatch this. Oh my god. This could be crazy. It looks like that, but I'm already thinking this could be a good liner shade or like a lower lash line shade. Not what I would have picked if it was not random, but that's the point of this. Also to like get me out of my comfort zone, I think it will be fun. So that's the shade Amsterdam. And then this is the Makeup Forever Palette 9, no, 9 Artist Shadow Palette. This is the spring one, so this is good timing. It looks like that. Okay, so there's 9 shades. So let's roll for a number between 1 and 9. Four. Oh, so one, two, three, four. This could be good, at least with this blue. So this is the shade, if I'm reading it correctly. 
it doesn't matter because Makeup Forever shades are numbers. <laughs> How do I read this? I think that's the shade D236. It feels kind of dry. Uh, this is a very old palette. Honestly, one of my oldest. So I'm hoping it still works. I mean, this swatch is nice. It just felt like a bit dry. Okay, I should have swatched it with the other finger. Dummy. Okay, after I'll swatch them all in the same hand so that we can see the color story. But that's what it looks like. Ooh, that's a fun shade. It's like the um, turquoise, I guess. Shimmer. This is an all shimmer palette, so they're all shimmers, but that's fun. Okay, this could go downhill. <laughs> This is my Violet Voss Essentials. So this is a more like fall palette. It looks like this. So this one has 10 shades. So number between one and 10, seven. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I thought it was this purple, but it's actually this one. This is the shade Dusty Rose. Okay, okay, not horrible. That's actually a nice um, like crease shade. Just like I have to make it work with these colors. <laughs> and then this is my BoxyCharm Pure palette. Um, oh, no. So I have never used this because there's still packaging. There's still this on it. So this one has 12 shades. And it looks like this. So a number between 1 and 12. 3. Okay. Mm, this might be too similar to Dusty Rose. Let's see, that's the shade Bell. That feels very soft. No, this could work. Actually, this might be very good because it's kind of in the same tone as Dusty Rose, but it's lighter, like more like peachier. So I'm thinking this could blend out this very well. Okay, Belle. Actually, this kind of looks good. This looks like a spring palette so far. I have one more, and this might ruin everything <laughs> because that's my Jean-Michel Basquiat Urban Decay palette, and this is a very grungy color story. It looks like this. So there is three, eight shades in this palette. So a number between one and eight, two. Oh, okay, okay. So two is the shade Levi Levitation. This, this I would use for a transition shade if I was using this palette. So this could be Fine. I don't think it's going to show up on my skin tone as a swatch. No. Like you can't see that at all. But a nice gradient between these three. That's the shade Levitation. So let me um, clean this off and swatch them nicely so we can look at the color story. Okay, so this is my color story and I actually don't hate it. This shade kind of looks out of place but this looks like a nice like spring eyeshadow palette color story if you ask me. So that's what I'm working with. So this again was the shade Levitation from the Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basquiat. This is the shade Belle from the Pure and Boxy Charm palette. This is the shade Dusty Rose from the Violet Voss Essentials. This is that 
I don't know, number shade from the Makeup Forever Artist Palette 3. And then this is the shade Amsterdam from the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay collab. So we'll see how it goes. I do think I can use all of these on this at the same time, so that's not an issue. It's just like, I guess mixing them in with the other eyeshadows I have. I don't know, we'll have to see. This is fun so far. I guess what I'll do is have an update like I have for my deck of panning. Um, I'm ob oh, I wanted to say, these are all shadows that I've never touched until now. So, the idea of panning them is very, is a very lofty goal. I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, I don't know. Unless I suddenly started wearing makeup every day, but that's not the case right now. So, I think I'll put a usage goal on these. Um, is 10 too low? I feel like 10 sounds low, but for me it's not. Cause that means I still have to use like my deck of panning products, plus these, plus my shop, my stash. I think 10 is good. If I see that it's like too easy, I'll put 15. But let's start with 10. Cause I wanna have an update. You know, I don't want to come back every month and be like, well, it's the same and everything looks the same. So, yeah, let's do that. And hopefully I'll remember to take pictures because I think that's going to be an easier way to see any progress with a project like this um, because it's all powder. So you're not going to see like, you know, much of a difference otherwise. So let's see how it goes. And I'll check in next month, I guess, hopefully. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you're doing this project, uh, let me know below because I always like to watch these videos. They're really fun. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!